personal experience of a relative in a comatose state led sisters Celia and Jenny Kitzinger to develop their sociological research program. This work has helped advise families, clinicians, as well as government policy. Our research has been looking at family experience of the vegetative and minimally conscious state. That's the most severe forms of brain injury, sometimes generically known as coma. And we've been interviewing families on film about those experiences and also a range of practitioners in the field to understand how we can improve the support for families and also the kind of treatment and best interests of patients. Jen and Celia are passionate about this theme, they're passionate about the law, about practice, they're passionate about their own personal story. And so this project is a great example of how people who have been through it themselves are in a privileged position to inform others on how to make their decisions for the future. So the research and the power of the research is that it's based on collaboration, not just between Cardiff University and the University of York, but also in that we worked with the charity DIPEX, that runs Health Talk and with the Health Experiences Research Group at Oxford University. Everyone pulled together to make this happen. The Health Experiences Research Group contributed with their staff, with time, training, and actual money to support us at the charity to prepare the website and to host it for the next five years. Traditionally, researchers have published their work in peer-reviewed academic journals and they disappear into libraries, whereas we've put our filmed interviews out there on the web where they're accessible to people who can learn from them. Health Talk Online is a really important resource both for families and for clinicians. For families, I think it's really helpful that they can uh, learn from what others have experienced um, and see that they're not alone on that pathway. Um, and for clinicians, it helps them to understand what the family's going through. Um, it helps us to understand how best to communicate, how best to listen and perhaps how not to communicate um, so that we can try and find a way to manage these patients together. The collaboration included working with Lynn Turner-Stokes, Chair of the Royal College of Physicians Working Party on Prolonged Disorders of Consciousness. Jenny Kitzinger served on the Working Party developing new national guidelines. I think it was a symbiotic relationship because as a result of being on the group and contributing to the group, so that I guess helped to inform some of their um, research ideas and to build those ideas and of course the outputs of their research were very formative for the outputs of the guidelines and actually the recommendations that we made. Our research found widespread non-compliance with the Mental Capacity Act and those findings were cited in the House of Lords Select Committee report on the Mental Capacity Act and more recently the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology has cited three parts of our work in one of their post notes. Our analysis of media representations found that there were real problems with the way vegetative patients are represented in a kind of sleeping beauty way with eyes closed, lying still on a bed. And we have therefore worked with a range of poets and musicians and artists to create new evidence-based and innovative representations of coma and also worked with BBC Radio 3 to make a radio programme to open up people's understandings of what it means to be in a long-term vegetative state. These are real stories by real people, uh, ongoing stories in fact, that can be shared to anyone in the world now. So people that before would have to talk to professionals to look at leaflets can just now connect with other people instantly and to others' experiences. That's incredibly powerful. That was really extremely informative to the guidelines because it brought the family perspective, which of course is so important. I like to think it's the beginning, not the end, and I'm sure that there'll be a great deal more because once you do good research like this, it stimulates uh, more uh, research and more development and there is plenty more to do. Mm -hmm.